Hey, mathematicians, let's do your homework. All right, so we have our customary conversions, which means that you're going to need your reference sheet in the back of your book again. Remember that you should be setting up ratio tables between the units, miles, yards. Look at your reference chart so you can see. I have mine right here. We'll look it up on the reference chart. One mile is 1,760 yards. And then you use that information to input the numbers from this problem. Half a mile. Okay, well, what do you do to one to make it equal one half? Divide it in two, cut it in half. So cut this in half, divide it by two, and you'll get your final answer. Remember that you can use my boyfriend, Gatlin Guy, to help you on any volume ones that don't have a direct conversion. So here, this one, you don't really need him because we have fluid ounces to cups. That is a straight ratio comparison. On your reference chart, you don't need multiple steps for that. But for example, do, 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 do. do you not need my boyfriend on your homework? What? Nope, you can use Gallon Guy to help you on number six. You should have your very own version of him drawn in your workbook. Um, so you can flip back to him and do one ratio table if you can look up the conversion between gallons and cups. If you can't, if you didn't draw it down or you just don't want to look at Gallon Guy, then you need to do gallons to quarts, make a ratio table. Quarts to pints, make a second ratio table. Pints to cups, make a third ratio table, which is a lot more work than just staring at Gallon Guy. In terms of the rest of the problems, let's see. Remember that not all of your answers need to be whole numbers. Let me just scroll through all of them so in case you lost your homework. There's number one, there's number two, there's number three, there's number four. Number four is not a number answer. It should be a yes or no answer. Did she drink enough water today? Yes or no. And you can't just write yes or no and have nothing to back it up. So I need to see the math on the page that brought you to that conclusion. There's number five. Number six, you can use gallon guy on. Number seven, watch out. You might not get a whole number answer, and that's fine. You can have a decimal in your answer. Number eight. Super common type of problem where I give you two different units and I'm asking you to express the answer all in that type of units. So I want your answer just in inches. This part already is inches. Change this part to inches and then add them together. And last but not least, that's a pretty big number to divide by 1,760. So I might suggest you either guess and check, make a ratio table counting by one mile increments, or repeatedly subtract or repeatedly add 1,760 to get the answer 5,280 5, or 5,280 minus 1,760, then get that answer minus 1,760 and see how many times you have to do that to get down to zero. And that would be the number of miles that he ran. But that's the homework.